Choose to be a shoe factory. It was a woman's shoes only. And in fact, my godmother bought me Paris shoes from the at my wedding. <laughs> Yeah, and the back block was cheaper than the front block. The front block had stores in the lower part, and four apartments twice on the stores. I was in the orphanage in Aleppo, found my uncle, the Garab Din Army and Charlie in the English. I don't know how he found out we had survived. I can't remember how, but I was in the orphanage in Aleppo. And how I was found, I was in the Turkish home, and my Hanum, the lady of the house, The door rang, I opened it, and he asked where my Hanum was in Turkish, because that's all I've remembered. They stopped my sister and me when we were together. No Armenian, Turkish. If they caught us talking Armenian, out came the red hot pepper. Sit under the hot sun all day, no water, nothing. So then they we went, we met somebody's house. Then the woman took my sister, in fact. They changed our name. My name was Fikriye. <laughs> Fikriye was a small child. They should call me Fiko. Okay, what, me. what does Fiko mean? Fiko, Fikriye. What does it mean? Short Fiction is brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Adria was beautiful. My My older sister. I'm Armenian. You're afraid to say you're Armenian. This is all in Turkish language, you know. You're afraid to see you, say you are Armenian. What's your name? Astrid. Astrid means little star. And uh, what's your last name? I don't know what was my last name. What was your father's name? Shemavan. 
by the way, Shema Vam was one of the Snow's disciples. If you go and look up, handsome man, oh my God. Was he handsome, tall? And when I came to this country,